what I like to do in terms of organizing and scientific community, and my supervisor, Ryu Hasegawa, in Tokyo, and I like to thank Eugenia Chen, who supported me to prepare this talk. The title is Internal Parameterization of Hyperconnected Gaussian. And it is about the proposed theory, and it's about my last paper with exactly the same title. And my name is Nuria Kora from the University of Tokyo, and I also belong to I also belong to the National Institute of Informatics. And actually, this is the first time to attend the international conference, so I'm a bit nervous, but at the same time, I'm really, I'm really happy to be here. So let me start. So today, I talk about internal parameterization as a title. So the rough idea of internal parameterization is bijective correspondence between external thing related to topos and internal thing related to and maybe most famous such an internal parameterization is bijective correspondence between subtopos and Lavier-Tierney -like topology. So it's established by Lavier-Tierney. -like so the theorem state that there's a bijective correspondence, and subtoposes are defined as a embedding geometric morphism into a given topos. So it is kind of external thing. And compared to that, Lavier-Tierney topology is defined as a internal signal homomorphism, which is idempotent on the subobject classifier. So it is a morphism in the topos. So that's the reason why I call it internal thing. And that theorem states that there is a bijective correspondence between them. And so Lavier's open problem, the first problem of Lavier's open problem asks the existence of such an internal parameterization for quotient. Here, quotient, I mean connected geometric morphism from a given topos. And this problem is still open. And my result is a construction for bijective correspondence between hyperconnected quotient, I mean hyperconnected geometric morphism from a given topos, and some internal homomorphism in the given topos. So this is my result. So red part is open and blue part is my result. Okay. So first let me summarize what I will talk. So first I will study the first problem of the open problem in topos theory, which is called quotient toposis. And Second, I will talk about the construction of bijective correspondence between hyperconnected geometric morphism from a given topos E, which I will call hyperconnected quotient, and internal signal homomorphism from GUSI. I will define what it is, GUSI, to subobject classifier in the, in the given topos E. And we call this main term internal parameterization of hyperconnected quotient, and this is my case well. And as a key notion, I will define the notion of local state classifier, which is just a limit of all monomorphism. I will explain what it means, but I will put emphasis on the last part because, as you can see, the definition of limit of all monomorphism is elementary defined and it is kind of independent from topos theoretic knowledge. So, and I want to say, it's fun to calculate. <laughs> yes, so this is the problem of my talk. So first I'll talk about Lamy's open program, but very briefly. So let me turn back to this slide. So from now I'll talk about these two parts, known and open part. This part. So in his web page, open programs in topos theory, Lamia asked the following question. So is there a growth and in topos for which the number of these quotients is not small? At the other extreme, could they be parameterized internally as some topos are? This is the open program. And so it asks about the number of quotients. Yeah, quotient means connected geometric morphism from given topos. But today I will 
talk about the other extreme parts, so internal parameterization. So I will not talk about the number of portion. Yes. And, and let me recall internal parameterization of some So that theorem states that there's a natural quantity correspondence between Santoposis and Labiatian topology. So what uh, we want to construct is this projective correspondence. So we want our theorem that looks like this. So for topos E, there exists natural projective correspondence between quotient and some internal homomorphism. We don't know what it is. And so the reason why I write zero here is that the definition of the subtops and the quotient are kind of dual, but I know there are some other accurate notion for dual of embedding, but so because uh, embedding geometric morphism is a geometric morphism whose direct image is pretty faithful, and connected geometric morphism is a geometric, geometric morphism whose inverse image is pretty faithful. So it is kind of dual. Then next, let me talk about my main theorem, internal parameterization of hypermediate quotient. So this is the this part. This part. Yes. So hyperconnected by hyperconnected quotient, I mean a hyperconnected geometric morphism from a given topos. And I know although I did not define what local set plus square is, but now it is appears to know that every group of Nicktopos has it to understand this main theorem. So what I proved is for Topos E with a local set plus fire, and actually every arbitrary group of Nicktopos has local set plus fire, I will explain it later. There's a natural budget correspondence between hyperconnected quotient and internal similarity homomorphism from this object and subordinate classifier. So this is my main theorem. Yes. Then from now, let me explain what local state classifier is. So from now, I will talk about only this part. So I will not talk about some internal stabilized moves or something like that, but I will talk about only on this object local state classifier from now. I define local state classifier in the context of topos theory, but even if I forgot all the theoretic motivations, uh, this notion would still be my favorite. <laughs> and I will explain the reason why. So first, uh, I will define it regressive in the next slide. But, so as far as the definition makes sense for general categories, not only for topos and there might be other application. I just hope so. And it is a variant of the notion of terminal shape, and it's easy to define. And once understood, the definition is intuitive. So, uh, so this is an abbreviation for local state classifier. Local state classifier is intended to be the set of all local states. This is just a very informal phrase. And my favorite pro proposition is this one. So for pre-shift category, it is a it is some kind of dual notion to the subobject classifier. And concrete calculations are often possible, and it's fun. I, I know this is very subjective, but it's fun to do some connection with usual mathematics like combinatorial things or topological group theory. So, hmm. There's no reason why I like this notion. So now let me define what local state classifier is. So, as I say, a local state classifier of category is, roughly speaking, is just a collimit of all monomorphisms. So, that is a collimit of embedding functor from C mono to C. Here, C mono, you know, there are some category of C that consists of all objects of C and all monomorphisms. And the associated component is referred to as small good size. So in other words, 
that there is a object because I equals with uh, morphism from every other object in the category C. Furthermore, uh, those small goods I should commute with arbitrary morphisms. And furthermore, those data should be universal among all other data. So this is just a definition of polymit. So this is a definition of local state classifier. And let me explain the intuition behind this weird definition. I don't really understand the fact that we see one or two C. So did you reevaluate the one of the, uh, the options? So, 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 so how, how do you get a function from C1 or to C? So C1 is a double category, right? Uh, sorry, no, the C1 is just a, a subcategory. So it is faceful faceful function. So the object of C1 is exactly the same as the object of C, the category C. And PR is just the model. Ah, yes. Yeah, so thanks. Thank you for seeing. Then, so let me explain the intuition behind the definition. So, first, take an arbitrary object x and take element of x. So, I know there are no such notion element in general category, but take, just imagine taking element small x. Then try to calculate the value small as I expect. Then you can take arbitrary small subobject that contains this x. Then you have this commutative diagram. Just because this is monic. Then you have this equation. So small as I x equals small as I x but the left part is calculated in this small small sub-object, and this is calculated in this. So what this equation means that this part, small buzai, large x, small x, can be calculated in arbitrary small taken sub-object. So that is the intuition behind that definition. So this part, this small buzai, large x, small x, cannot depend on some global data. So that is intuition. And that's the reason why I use the word local. So please guess what is the local set classifier of this category, three current set, that is just a slice category of set divided by red, green, blue. And to calibrate local set plus file of this category, so as an explanation, so we can take object X and we have monomorphism from one element object that contains only red element, only one red element. Then we have this commutative diagram. So it means the value of small buzai large x should be determined only by colors. Then we can conclude that the local state classifier is this three element object. I know this is terminal object. And the map associated the associated component of Kokon is this unique map into the terminal object. So I want to say this morphism classify colors. But, but since this is terminal object, it is kind of degenerated case, but mm, I want to say this morphism classify colors. Yes. Then maybe I should mention the existence of set of local set classifier because uh, even if you consider the co-complete category, the indexing category of the definition of local state classifiers might be large. So the existence of local state classifier is non-trivial. But in my paper, I uh, explicitly construct the local state classifier of urban digital So everyone 
every Newton topos has a low cross section of spiral. But for some elementary topos, like PZ to D, does not have a low cross section of spiral. And the category of algebras has a low cross section of spiral. But by the second example, I want to emphasize that. Uh, the definition of local state class fire makes sense even for non topos category. And from now, let me give more interesting examples. So, let's see a small category. And recall that the subobject class fire of Pre-shift topos is the pre-shift of some objects of representable pre-shifts, which are called cells, which looks like this. And as I said, local state classifier is kind of dual to some object classifier. Uh, we have this explicit, this explicit description of local state classifier. So local state classifier with the pre-shift topos is the pre-shift of cost of objects. Well, uh, in this conference, I learned we call quotients <laughs> representable for shift. So, this looks like this. So, this is kind of dual notion. I think it is surprising for <laughs> at least for me. And uh, using that expressive description, we can concretely calculate the local set classifier of some interesting topos. For example, for group action topos, local set classifier of the topos of GZ, here GZ group, uh, is a set of all subgroups, subgroups of G. But uh, this good I should be the object of this category, so this set is equipped with conjugate action. And small good I says each element X and this large x is g set to its stabilizer subgroup. So local state classifier is one possible categorical description of stabilizer subgroup. And for directed graph case, a local state classifier of the topos of directed graphs, this is just a pressure category parallel par 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 morphism category, is given by two group k. So one for text and to edges, and for a given for a given directed graph, uh, each small gusai x, each morphism and every vertex to the unique vertex there, and that morphism and every edge to one of those two edges to loops, depending on whether the input is loop or not. It is kind of local state classifier. <laughs> I'm not sure it's enough convincing. So, then, well, now I want to talk about the relationship between terminal object and local state classifier. So, I find local state classifier as a co of this embedded functor. So, it's similar to the terminal object. Because uh, object of category is terminal if and only if it's limit of the identity functor. So then it's natural to ask when local state classifier becomes terminal or degenerate. So, and there is a very simple answer to this question. So as an immediate corollary of our main theorem and hyperconnected locality factorization by Johnston, we have this simple answer to this question. So, yeah. for growth and topos, uh, the local state classifier is terminal if and only if it is local topos. So, for example, the local state classifier of a shift topos of a project space is terminal. And I believe there's very intuitive explanation. And so, because that shift topos uh, over the projection of space is a category of eternal bundles over X. So, I would say, instead of that, I want to call it the category of local homeomorphism to X. So, 
an element y in the etal bundle does not have any non-trivial local data. I know I'm saying something very informal, but because that point is locally homeomorphic to the underlying point. So the only local data that this point can have is very okay. So or in other words underlying point. So roughly speaking, so this is the reason why local set conspire of these tuples should be X underlying space itself. Or in other words, it is the terminal one though. I don't expect to be X. Let me read summarize what I said. So first I've been studying the first problem of the Niels Open problem in topos theory which is about connected geometric morphism. And I construct bisected correspondence between hyperconnected geometric morphism and internal semi morphism. And I call it internal parameterization of hyperconnected quotient. And as a key notion, I define the notion of local state classifier, which is just a claim of all homomorphism, and it's fun to calculate. <laughs> and there are several things that I do not talk about, so if you uh, some question, please ask me later in, if possible, very easy and slow English. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Rather than other 
No, I didn't ask that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that I understand. How happened? You were thinking about the general problem, I guess. Oh, uh, yes, yes. So how happened? You said, you know what? I don't know the answer in general, but I think I can do it for hyperconnected. Why did you choose hyperconnected? Oh. What made you believe there was a answer? I'm not sure. I, I, there is a translator. There are several possible answers. So, we should explain the brilliant case. Yes, 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 maybe I should explain the brilliant case. Yes, yeah, so, first, uh, for, for me, motivating, motivating example for, for me was set Z and group action topos. And I wanted to construct theory for uh, every connected John Technomorphism, not hyperconnected. And in this particular case, uh, I, could, uh, I could construct the theory, and that is a special case of what I thought. But uh, later, so, so, so I thought I could generalize in this particular example to uh, every rotating topos, but later uh, I found that every connected geometric morphism from a Boolean topos is hyperconnected. And that's the reason why I started okay. the computer. Is it? Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, uh, what is the local state classifier in the category of groups or rings or the algebras? Okay, thank you for asking. And actually, uh, I, I cannot calculate the uh, Lie algebra one, but for group one or monoid or vector spaces, uh, the answer is. Uh, local scarce file, those particularly are terminal, <laughs> uh, sadly. So, so it is kind of degenerative case. But, so, for example, point, the category pointed set, which is the category models of algebraic theory, uh, the local scarce file of this category is not terminal. So, I don't know where local scarce file of category is terminal or not uh, for more general. So, so what is it in that case? In this case, uh, it's two, ele two, two elements okay. and, and morphism class by morphism class by which element is chosen one. Right. Thank you. Yes, uh, can you say something about the lattice structure on the local set classifier? Because you say hyperconnected tokens are classified by lattice so, so you're asking about the definition of similarities. How do you get the similarity structure on the local set classifier? Yeah, we can define uh, similarity stru uh, structure. On the can, you, can you say how? Ah, uh, yes. So it's, uh, it's actually easy. So for for the product of object. We have two morphisms to the uh, psi times psi and psi, and this one is given by like this, and for this we have we have this, and there is a unique there is a unique morphism uh, that makes this diagram commutative for every pair of object in the oh. So this is the so I assume this only works in the topos and not in the marginal categories. So, so I assume this only works in the topos and not in the marginal category. So this construction uh, works for <coughs> the category. Yeah. Right. Maybe one more question, please. Uh, do you have an example of a map that is not a, uh, that is not hyperconnected but uh, connected? Yes. Yes. There are. So, yeah. <laughs> and then. My favorite example is so when I write this, it it, it you know the one element category. 
the following. And since there is a modoid morphism, then we have we have this this is an example and typically uh, the geometry the connected geometry morphism which is induced by lack of morphism tend to be not happening. Well perhaps we should come to speaker again.